All right, today Chance and I are getting ready to clean the Veloster. We've done this a few times. He's my partner in crime and there's a few steps you got to do. It's not super hard, but it's not the easiest either. So Chance, what's the first step? Get the spray down. And then that's what we're going to do. You got to make sure that you cool off the paint and then you also want to spray it down to get out some of the larger pieces like bird poop. All right, so when you want to remove your bug and tar, Dr. Beasley's has made this product, it's called the cleanser. Also, I found what works is 50% deoxidized water and 50% alcohol, that's correct. But I'm all out of my alcohol solution, so we're going to use Dr. Beasley's. Now we're in a circular motion. Give it a spray. Wipe it down again. Give it a spray. Wipe it down again. Boom, no bugs. All right, so you have to fill two buckets, one with just water, Chance is doing now. Uh, the other bucket, we're going to put Dr. Beasley's matte body wash, which is actually very good stuff. Let's do that. It's very important that if the paint starts to dry, that you go ahead and re spray down the car. That way, you're not getting any friction when you're cleaning it. I could have said that better, but I got nothing. I'm not a pro at this, but hey, whatever. Alright, you want to make sure that you're doing it in sections. That way that the soap doesn't dry on your paint. So what you do is you dip it in your soap. Bring it out a little bit, get a nice little lather going there. And side to side. With a little soap. We're getting a little braver these days. We're actually doing like the whole side of the car. Um, when we first started we did it by sections like but we're getting pretty quick and pretty efficient at it, so we go ahead and do the whole side of the car. That way, you're not spending 20 minutes, now we're doing more like 15 minutes. So, get it nice and clean. As you can see, it is actually starting to soap up finally. Alright, and then when you're done soaping it, you want to rinse your mat in the water. Make sure there's no debris on it. Rinse it out, and that's when you would put it back in your soapy water. Spray it down enough to that you have less than 2,500 psi on your hose. We have a nice little shower setting. It's nice and soft, and it makes it soak it down. All right, before we drive the car, this is where I take the time to get my Barrett Jackson's wheel cleaner here, and then we're gonna go ahead and do all four wheels. And then we want to make sure that as we're doing this, that the car doesn't dry, so we got to keep spraying it. Now when I first bought this car, I went on YouTube, I went everywhere looking for a good video on how to wash this. Because it's a matte paint, and I wasn't really sure, so it was kind of a learn on the fly. So I hope this video has helped whoever is washing it. The same as washing it, you definitely don't want to do circular motions, and you just don't want to apply a ton of pressure. Nice and easy. Can do the work for you. All right, she's all clean. So, the products I use again is Mr. Beasley's matte paint body wash, and for the bug and tar, we use the matte paint cleanser. Again, 50% deoxidized water, 50% alcohol will also work. All our towels are microfiber, of course, including our cleaning pads. Very important. And then also what we didn't talk about was in this bucket, we have a little grate here for all the debris to make sure that we're not scratching our paint. 
So thank you for watching our video. Say bye, Tina. Bye. And she's all clean. <laughs>